he was doing, he certainly had a nervous breakdown. And uh, now nobody can take you seriously. I mean, he had like, they, they, they blame the fact that he had like a nervous breakdown over the fact his video was getting criticism. Listen, you know, I make videos, uh, you know, after a dead Russian dictator that nobody seems to like anymore. You know, I'm used to getting criticism, okay? And it's it's really not that bad, just so long as you have, you know, confidence in yourself, that you feel good about yourself, and, you know, so on and so forth. You know, those naysayers, the haters, whatever you want to call them, they, they really can't do anything to you. They can't get to you unless you let them. And uh, apparently he really let them get to him, and he just, he just lost it. This is like wave three or four, something like that. But the Holy War for Sicily is going extremely well. Oh, sweet. We have now proved. Wow, okay, we've got crazy. Oh, shit. We're gonna have to abandon that dream. Send more men this way to deal with the peasant revolts. I've got a couple people. I'll grant you Keeper of the Swans. There, that'll make you happy. Hopefully. And, uh, I can send you a gift and send you some money. And everybody's happy. Great, wonderful. Even though now I've instituted medium crown authority. Hopefully that'll increase the amount of men that I can call to war in times of need. What is he trying to abandon? I, I don't know. Whatever. You can, you can, or sorry, what plot is he trying to commit? Whatever, you can abandon it. And, you know, hopefully that'll tie things over until we're done our war with Sicily. I was expecting there to be more resistance. I, I don't know, I, I love the image of like naval inv or, or like amphibious naval invasions. I always love that kind of stuff. Like I love sort of D-Day, um, Know, like D-Day landings, I love sort of the image of troops storming off the boats onto the beaches. You know, you know battles like Iwo Jima, those kind of battles I find really, really fascinating. And uh, this kind of stuff is like really cool to me. So I'm thinking of assassinating the heir, who I, I, I might lose, uh, you know, one of uh, one of my sort of claims to. I'll have to see what happens. I'll have to do some fiddling around and see what happens if, you know, the person who is currently ruling over the Duchessy of Galich dies, and how that affects um, sort of you know the shifts in land and that sort of stuff. Because that's one of the things I love about this game, is just kind of uh, taking the time to experiment with all the crazy things that can happen. Well, 
now been able to get about 10,000 men. Oh, just uh, another wave. It's gonna hit the beaches. Beautiful. I love it. 10,000 men, 10,000 Russians just stormed the island of Sicily. Where is their, their capital? I think this is their capital. I think I got them just at the right time, too. Like I said, I saw um, a bunch of their armies kind of traipsing around the Byzantine Empire. So that's where I think uh, they're currently uh, preoccupied. Another wave headed to Sicily. How am I doing for it? Uh, still, the vassals aren't very angry. And that's the last of the troops that I can take. Last the troops that I can take from the Black Sea coast. Still have plenty more troops near uh, Leningrad that I can send in. But uh, what I'm going to do here is I think I could probably send them down to the Black Sea faster then that ship can get there and back again. So, you're small enough. Oh, this army's small enough. So they'll be able to make it on my, my Black Sea fleet. No, no big battles, just lots of sieges. I'll keep this army here to deal with any peasant revolts. any vassals into submission. What if my ca my calculations might actually be incorrect? Oh well, it's not a huge deal anyway. Calculations might have been way off. Oh well. So, are you guys ready to uh, capitulate? My demands are not ready to be reinforced or be enforced just yet. Everybody's incompetent except for me. Lost 
next uh, another territory. I wonder if I should just cave and like uh, build my own uh, a whole new uh, holding. All right, guys, let's uh, let's siege faster because that would be great. Crap. Who's declaring war on me? Wow. Don't, well, don't, man, don't, uh, don't go too crazy here. So, what are you guys, uh, oh, they are ready. Beautiful. Okay. Well, let's, uh... Send these guys home. Wow. Okay. Oh, I see what's happening. I see why everybody's so angry and upset. Because I have too much territory. So let's, uh, dole it out a little bit. You and have, I don't know if we're actually going to be able to hold on to this, you know, uh, this new territory, but we'll see. Sons. Yes, just one more. I like how as soon as this army is raised, like uh, it might just get completely obliterated by peasants. Or it even has a chance to do anything. Uh, crap, I need to give more of my friggin' land away. You, you can have... Oh, I also got Malta. That's pretty sweet. Is this Penny? Or is it? Oh no, it's something completely different. No, the city was blocking the rest of the title. Sons, which is good. Let's give you um, there, and I shall maintain a uh, hold of, of Malta, and everything will be wonderful. Everything will be happy, and nobody will be pissed off anymore, except for all the people who are now at war with me. So, guess what that means? Oh my god! Raise the vassals! They will be able to put a swift end to this war.
or rather these wars. wars. Send the fleets home because I don't need them anymore. Unless, of course, you know, Sicily gets our, our new Sicilian territories get too uppity. Then we might have to do something about it. I just love the, like, random Russian territory now that exists in the middle of, uh, in the middle of the Mediterranean. something. Hey, that's great. Civil Wars, man. They just never seem to end. Oh well.
to go and deal with these goddamn peasants. Sicily. Don't know if my current 1,000 or so man army is going to be enough. Vassals are sort of uh, meandering about and occasionally bumping into enemies which we are fighting. So that's good for me. soon.
is he what is he trying to do? Oh good. I, at least I can enforce demands against someone. God, these aren't these aren't even really civil wars. May humors rot your living body. Wow, what a nice guy. Yeah, it's not like, uh, you know, you just declared war on me for no reason or anything like that. No! Oh, they're poor, poor, short lived rebellion. It looks like England's on the rise, too. Uh, except for, like, a random, uh, Danish held territory in the middle of England. So, is this guy ready to enforce demands? Yes, he is. was ended. He sent some men home. What can I, what can I even arrest him for? Apparently for state in for state intrigue, whatever. <laughs> it's pretty vague. Is he ready to capitulate? Yes, he is. Well, yet another civil war ended. Oops, I want to send them in home, not re, -ra not re raise them. Well, yeah, like I said. Oh, crap. That rebellion. Well, I have mercenaries that I can just send in. I've got enough money. Send them in, deal with those rebellions. Give my levies time. To recuperate themselves, but we've had a pretty eventful, um, you know, last little while. It finally united the entirety of the Russian kingdoms under one banner. Very important. Also took Sicily. Oh, that's where that rebellion is coming from. Also very important. And uh, a whole bunch of other crazy things happened. Fought yet another civil war. While my vassals continue to meander about and kill each other and 
All kinds of fun things are currently happening. But with that, I think it's time to end this Let's Play for now. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been uh, Joseph Feastrunner with Stalin, signing off for now. And I will see you guys next time.